Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a source type in Reunion for Mac. We're going to base this source type on the one from Elizabeth Schoen Mills for a book publication using the basic format. And so using the steps that I've outlined in previous screencast, we'll start with identifying needed fields for the new source type. Uh, mapping the existing reunion fields, uh, perhaps changing some of those, uh, modifying any field formatting, and creating any new fields that we need. And when we do that, we need to make sure we consider uh, GEDCOM compatibility of those fields. And thirdly, we will create or duplicate an existing source type, and then, if appropriate, we'll change any of our existing sources to use the new source type that we create. So when we're editing source types, that's found in the Preferences pane. So we'll go up here to Reunion on the menu bar and click that, and then select Preferences. Within here, we've got this icon for Sources. I'll click that. Now you can see in here that there's already a source type for Books. It's selected here. And you can see the fields in there are Author, Book, slash Periodical Name, Editor, publisher name, volume number, and page. Now there are a couple reasons that I want to create a new source type for this. And that those are firstly that this format for the source does not follow Elizabeth Schoen Mills. And that's uh, what I endeavor to do in my source citations. And then the second one is a very pragmatic one with that has to do with the, the GEDCOM information. And that is that this format, as it comes out of the box, uses this field book slash periodical name. And if we take a quick look at that field, you can see that that GEDCOM tag that's used there is P-E-R-I, which is the periodical name. It's not the book title. While if we look down here at title, we can see that that GEDCOM tag is title. So I don't want my books it, citations to indicate in an exported GEDCOM that the title is actually a periodical name when in, in fact it's a book. So there are a couple reasons there to either change or create a new one. Now I recommend not changing the existing one unless you are sure that you are not using that source type. Um, but you want to create a new one in case you are using it because the last step in our process here will be to change any of our existing sources over to the new one as appropriate. And you, you may want to uh, leave some sources with this old type, um, or if you end up moving them all to the new source type, you can just delete this one at the end. So in this case, we're going to create a new type. But if we go back to the steps, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have all the fields that we need. Now, Elizabeth Schoen Mills, uh, re her recommendation for the citation of a a print publication in book format using the basic format is to uh, cite the author, then the main and subtitles, then the place of publication, the publisher name, the publication year, and the page. So we need to go through here these list of fields that I got to by clicking here on this little mini toolbar and make sure that we have all the fields that we need and that they have the right text style and um, the right treatments, and also that the GEDCOM, title, ta uh, GEDCOM tags are acceptable to us. So the first one is author, and that's fine according to the basic format. Everything is fine there. It's using the author GEDCOM tag, so we're good there. Now we're going to use title, and the GEDCOM tag there is good. The trouble here is that in the basic format for print publications of a book type, uh, Elizabeth Schoen Mills does not call for quotes around the title of the book and she calls for the text to be italicized not plain so we could change this existing one but that would break other uh, title usage that we have elsewhere where we're expecting quotes around it and the text style to be plain so we'll create a new one and we'll also change this name of this one so i'm going to just click there where it said title and you can see that it's got that blue background which means we can edit that and I'm going to put in parentheses here that this is quoted. And then we'll create the new title one in a second after we finish going through these, these types. 
and then we've got publication place. Well, here in Reunion by default, we've got this publisher name, and here it says place and date in parentheses. Now, now that's not quite what we want, although the GEDCOM tag is correct and the text style is correct. What we really want is uh, the name of the publisher, the place of the publisher, publication, and the publication year in that order um, with some specific uh, delimiters. Now we've got a date, just a generic date field that we could use instead of uh, appending the publication year to one field. But there's no place, publication place here. It's just kind of wrapped up in this one. So we're going to use the same sort of approach here, uh, but we're going to create one that's formatted the way that we want, and uh, we're going to name it in a way that when we're looking for it and when we're creating new source types in the future that, that are based on Elizabeth's work, we'll be able to pick out that source field. And we want to create one like publisher name, so I'm going to click Add Field, and I'm going to call it Publication, and then in parentheses I'm going to type in place, colon, name, comma, year. So that's the, the basic format of that publication field within the basic book format uh, from Elizabeth Schoen Mills, place, followed by a comma, then the name, sorry, place, followed by a colon, followed by the name, and then a comma, and the year. So we put the format of the information that I want put in that field later on, right in there. Within the GEDCOM tag, we're going to type P-U-B-L for publication. We're going to leave the format of the text the, the same way, plain and no quotes. So we've got that one. And then we want to create a new title. So we've got the title quoted one that we changed. I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call it title and I'm going to call it italicized. And we're going to change the GEDCOM tag to TITL for title. We're going to change the text style to italic. And now we've finished the step of identifying the needed fields. And we've also mapped the reunion fields. We've also mapped the reunion fields. So now we need to create the source type itself. So I click back over on Types, and I can duplicate an existing source type, which since we have book selected, this Duplicate button says Duplicate Book. So we could click that to duplicate it, and um, then remove and change these fields as we desire. Or we can simply click Add Type, and then enter the name. And here we're going to type print publications, book, basic format. Now I'm, get, I'm using the names straight out of the Evidence Explained book and from the uh, quick sheet for citing references so that in the future when I'm looking for that source, I, that source type, I, I know what I'm looking for based on uh, my experience with Elizabeth Schoen Mills' work. So here we've got this source type added and we need to put in the fields in the order that we want them to appear in the reference. So first we're going to click Add Field. We'll select Author and press Enter. We'll add the next field which is Title Italicized. And then we want the publication field that we created which was publication place name year. And then finally, we need page. And there we go. We've got a new source type with the fields that are suggested by Elizabeth Schoen Mills. So I'm going to close this. And then let me just show you quickly adding a source. I'm, I'm going to delete this later because this isn't a real one, but I want to show you what this looks like. So I clicked Add, I opened up a record for a person, I clicked Add Source, I'm going to go over to New Source, and you can see here's the new one that we just added, Print Publications, Book, Basic Format. So I'm going to select that, and then you can see here are the fields that we created, and this is a nice handy thing, putting these, these directions within the parentheses because it tells me how to format the information within that field. 
So in this case, I'm just going to use some example data. This is actually the example from Evidence Explained. So the author's name is Joe Nickel. The title is Detecting Forgery. And then the subtitle is Forensic Investigation. Forensic Investigations of Documents. And the publication place is Lexington, colon. The name is University of Kentucky, and the year was 1996, and the page is 123. So now I want to show you what that citation reference note looks like. And we'll click the Preview tab, and here you'll see it's got the source number followed by the author, and then the title in italics, and the subtitle, followed by the publication place, colon, publication name and date, and then the page number. Now this is almost exactly as Elizabeth Schoen Mills outlines it. The, the difference is that in her reference note for the first full reference, she's got parentheses around the publication information. But other than that, it is the Elizabeth Schoen Mills format. Now I'm not going to save that because that's not an actual source for this information. So I'm going to press cancel. Now, now that you've got that source type created, though, you, you want to check your existing sources to see if there are sources that are using the book format that actually should be using your new print publications book format. And so I clicked Sources on the toolbar, and that brings up a list of my sources. Right now I have them sorted by source number. But if you sort them by type, then you can look in here and see if you've used any book type. And I have right here. So this book, if I select this source, we can see that it's not a periodical. And so this is a candidate for changing the source type to the newly created one. And so before we do that, we want to make sure that we're not going to lose any information. So what Reunion will do is map these fields that match the new source type directly across for us, and then any of the any of the fields that are in here in this source type that are not in the new source type, it will just append to the end. So we should find that this publisher name, place, and date information gets appended to the end of the list of fields in the new source that's created. So then we'll move this information. So we don't have any information in here that's going to be lost. So if we go down here to source type and change this to print publications book basic format, you can see that it mapped all these across just the way that it should. And like I said, it created this new, it appended this publisher name field. So we're going to want to take this information here and cut it and paste it in where it belongs. Now here, we want to move this publication place, Provo, Utah, and put it here where it belongs. And there we go. Now we're missing some information like the title of the book and such, but that's not an issue with the source type. That's an issue with my citation. So I've changed that source type now to print publications book and I'll click save. And now you can see down here at the bottom, it's got it's set to that print publications book format type right there. And if we go back up here to the top, we no longer have any book type up here. Now if you find that you have removed, changed all your books over to print publication book, basic format, and you want to remove that source, you can do that by going into the preferences and clicking source, and then select book, and you can, uh, once you've got that selected, you can press command, to, command delete, and that book source type will go away. Again, you want to be careful that you're not using that source type before you do that. But once you do that, you can clean up your source types, and eventually we'll end up with a list of source types that are all uh, the Elizabeth Schoen Mills source type formats.